Dear friends, this video will discuss about in brief about income approach valuation method of construction equipment with example and format of reporting. We'll start presenting now. A. Income approach valuation method of construction equipment. The income approach valuation method, also known as the income capitalization approach, is typically used for valuing income generating assets, such as real estate properties or businesses. It can also be adapted for construction equipment, particularly in cases where the equipment generates income through rentals or other forms of utilization. Here are the steps involved in using the income approach for valuing construction equipment. 1. Determine income stream, identify the income generated by the construction equipment. This income can come from various sources, such as equipment rentals, leasing, or subcontracting services that use the equipment. The income should be consistent and reliable. 2. Estimate future income, project the future income the equipment is expected to generate over a specific period. This projection should consider factors like rental rates, utilization rates, and expected market demand. 3. Determine capitalization rate, the capitalization rate, cap rate, is a crucial factor in the income approach. It's the rate used to convert the projected income into a present value. The cap rate is typically derived from market data and reflects the risk associated with the investment. A lower cap rate indicates lower risk and a higher value. 4. Calculate present value. Use the projected income and the cap rate to calculate the present value of the income stream. The formula for this calculation is Present value equals future income divided by 1 plus cap rate, carat n. Where, where? Present value is the current value of the income stream. Future income is the projected income for a specific period. Cap rate is the capitalization rate. T is the number of years into the future that the income is projected. 5. Adjust for depreciation and maintenance, account for any depreciation, maintenance costs, and operating expenses associated with the equipment. Deduct these costs from the calculated present value. 6. Market conditions, consider external factors that may affect the equipment's income potential, such as changes in market demand, economic conditions, and industry trends. 7. Documentation, maintain thorough records of the income projections, cap rate calculations, and any adjustments made during the valuation process. It's important to note that the income approach is most applicable when the construction equipment generates a significant and consistent income stream. This approach is less commonly used for construction equipment compared to real estate or businesses, where it is more commonly applied. Additionally, accurate cap rate determination and future income projections are crucial for a reliable valuation using this method. B. Example of Income Approach Valuation Method of Construction Equipment The income approach is typically used to value income-generating assets, such as construction equipment that is rented or leased to generate revenue. Below is an example of how to apply the income approach to value construction equipment. Example, valuation of a backhoe. 1. Equipment identification. A. Equipment, 2018 XYZ backhoe. B. Make, model, ABC 123 backhoe. C. Equipment details, 5 years old, 9,500 operating hours. D. Useful life, 10 year. E. Purchase price, 24.8 Indian rupees lakh. 2. Present value calculation, following steps is considered. A. Gather historical income and expense data for the concrete, concrete mixer truck over the past three years. B. Estimate future income over the useful life based on market conditions and the expected rental. C. Estimate future operating expenses over the useful life, considering ongoing maintenance and potential repairs. D. Calculate the projected net annual income over the useful life by using following formula. Net income equals income minus expenses. E. 
Decide the capitalization rate or discount rate reflects the risk associated with the investment and the required rate of return based on market condition and industry standards. We will consider a rate of 8% in this case. F. Calculate the present value of each year's cash flows using the chosen discount rate. You can use the following formula for each year, T, of the equipment's life. PV equals CFT divided by 1 plus R, carat T. Where? PV equals present value. CFT equals cash flow in year T, can be positive for inflows or negative for outflows. R equals discount rate, which represents the minimum acceptable rate of return or cost of capital. T equals year of the cash flow. Detail calculation till useful life is as follows, considering 8% as discount rate. Year 1. Income equals 9.6 Indian rupees lakh, expense equals 4.1 Indian rupees lakh, net income equals 5.5 Indian rupees lakh. Present value, year 1, PV1, equals 5.5 Indian rupees lakh, divided by, 1 plus 0 0.08, carat 1 equals 5.1 Indian rupees lakh. Year 2. Income equals 8.8 .8 Indian rupees lakh, expense equals 3.7 Indian rupees lakh, net income equals 5.1 Indian rupees lakh. Present value, year 2, PV2, equals 5.1 Indian rupees lakh, divided by, 1 plus 0 0.08, carat 2 equals 4.4 Indian rupees lakh. Year 3. Income equals 8 Indian rupees lakh, expense equals 3.6 Indian rupees lakh, net income equals 4.4 Indian rupees lakh. Present value, year 3, PV3, equals 4.4 Indian rupees lakh, divided by, 1 plus 0 0.08, carat 3 equals 3.5 Indian rupees lakh. Year, year 4. Income equals 7.5 Indian rupees lakh, expense equals 4.5 Indian rupees lakh, net income equals 3 Indian rupees lakh. Present value, year 4, PV4, equals 3 Indian rupees lakh, divided by, 1 plus 0 0.08, Carat 4 equals 2.2 Indian rupees lakh. Year 5. Income equals 7.4 Indian rupees lakh. Expense equals 4.2 Indian rupees lakh. Net income equals 3.2 Indian rupees lakh. Resale value equals 2.8 Indian rupees lakh. Present value, year 5, PV5, equals 3.2 Indian rupees lakh plus 2.8 Indian rupees lakh divided by, 1 plus 0 0.08, carat 5 equals 4.1 Indian rupees lakh. 8. Depreciation adjustment. Consider the depreciation of the concrete mixer truck. In this example, straight-line depreciation is applied, and the equipment is assumed to have a residual value of 2.8 Indian rupees lakh after 10 years. Depreciation for 5 years, remaining life, equals, 24.8 Indian rupees lakh minus 2.8 Indian rupees lakh, divided 10 multiplied by 5. Equals 2.2 Indian rupees lakh, multiplied by 5 equals 11 Indian rupees lakh. 9. Final valuation. Calculate the final valuation by adding the present value of future income and the residual value, and then subtracting depreciation equals 5.1 Indian rupees lakh plus 4.4 Indian rupees lakh plus 3.5 Indian rupees lakh plus 2.2 Indian rupees lakh plus 4.1 Indian rupees lakh minus 11 Indian rupees lakh equals 8.2 Indian rupees lakh. 10. Valuation Conclusion The estimated market value of the 2018 XYZ Baco, based on the income approach, is approximately 8.2 Indian rupees lakh as of date of valuation. This example demonstrates how the income approach can be used to estimate the market value of construction equipment based on its income generating potential. Actual valuations may involve more detailed analysis and adjustments to account for specific market conditions and equipment characteristics. C. Format for income approach valuation of construction equipment. The income approach is a valuation method used to determine the market value of construction equipment by estimating its income generating potential. Potential. This approach is often used when valuing equipment that is used for rental or lease purposes. Here's a format for conducting an income approach valuation of construction equipment. 1. Equipment identification. 
Provide detailed information about the construction equipment being valued, including its make, model, year of manufacture, and any unique features. 2. Market Research Research the market to gather data on rental rates and demand for similar construction equipment in the area or region where the equipment is used. 3. Income Data Collection Gather historical income and expense data related to the equipment, which may include a. Rental or lease income b. Operating expenses, e.g., maintenance, fuel, insurance c. Any additional income generated by the equipment, e.g., attachments or services provided 4. Future income projections Estimate the future income that the equipment is expected to generate over a defined period. This projection period is typically based on the remaining useful life of the equipment. 5. Expense projections. Estimate the future operating expenses associated with the equipment over the projection period. 6. Net income calculation. Calculate the net income by subtracting the estimated future expenses from the projected future income for each period. 7. Capitalization rate determination. Determine the capitalization rate, also known as the discount rate. This rate is used to convert future income into present value. It reflects the required rate of return or the risk associated with the investment. 8. Present value calculation. Calculate the present value of the projected net income by discounting each year's income using the capitalization rate. This will provide the present value of the future income stream. 9. Depreciation adjustment. Consider the depreciation of the equipment and adjust the present value of future income accordingly. Common methods for calculating depreciation include straight-line depreciation, declining balance, or an industry-specific depreciation rate. 10. Final valuation. The final valuation is the present value of the projected future income, adjusted for depreciation. This represents the market value of the construction equipment using the income approach. 11. Report. Create a comprehensive valuation report that includes the following details. A. Equipment identification information. B. Market research findings. C. Historical and projected income and expense data. D. Capitalization rate used. E. Present value calculations. F. Depreciation adjustment. 12. Review and certification. If required, have the valuation report reviewed and certified by a qualified appraiser or valuation expert. 13. Presentation. Present the valuation report to the relevant stakeholders such as financial institutions, insurance companies, or potential buyers. The income approach is often used in conjunction with other valuation methods, and the choice of method can depend on the specific circumstances and the purpose of the valuation. Ensure that the income approach is applied accurately and in compliance with industry standards to obtain a reliable market value for the construction equipment. Friends, we have explained in brief about income approach valuation method of construction equipment with example and format of reporting. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comments section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Inframechanizer, this is 100% free.